Then God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. Genesis 1.31 On the seventh day, God was done with all his work, and he rested. The loftiest idea of God, is the one which assumes that God, after his creation of the human being, withdrew and gave man completely over to himself. God led his creation only to a certain point. From there, he let the human being arise. And the human being, by knowing himself and looking about him, sets himself the task of working on, and completing what the primal power began, So it is not the human being's business to realize God's will in the world, but his own. He carries out his own decisions and intentions, not those of another being. The moral world order, is through and through the free work of human beings. The moral laws which the metaphysician regards as flowing from a higher power, are the thoughts of human beings. We reject any metaphysical influence beyond the reach of the intellect, that cannot be experienced conceptually. The divinity has merged with the world. In order to know God, human knowing must penetrate into the world. The laws that our mind recognizes in nature, are therefore God in his very being. Everyone, in so far as he thinks, lays hold of the universal reality. To fill one's life with such thought content is to live in reality, and at the same time to live in God. The world is God. The thought of a beyond, owes its origin to the misconception of those who believe that this world does not have the ground of its existence in itself. When we speak of the essential being of a thing, or of the world altogether, we cannot mean anything else than the grasping of reality as thought, as idea. In the idea we recognize that, from which we must derive everything else, the principle of things. What philosophers call the absolute, the eternal being, the ground of the world, what the religions call God, this we call, the idea. Everything in the world that does not appear directly as idea, will still ultimately be recognized as going forth from the idea. What seems on superficial examination, to have no part at all in the idea, is found by a deeper thinking to stem from it. No other form of existence can satisfy us, except one stemming from the idea. Nothing may remain away from it, everything must become a part of the great whole, that the idea encompasses. Becoming aware of the idea within reality, is the true communion of man. It is futile to seek any common element in the separate things of the world, other than the conceptual content gained by thinking. All attempts to find world unity, other than the coherent conceptual content gained by the conceptual analysis of our perceptions, must fail. No personal God can unify the world, because we experience our limited personality only in ourselves. A personal God is nothing but a human being transplanted into a beyond. Only this is worthy of man, that he seek truth himself, without being led by revelation. When that has been thoroughly recognized once and for all, then the religions based on revelation will be finished. The human being will then no longer want God to reveal himself, or bestow blessings upon him. He will want to know through his own thinking, and to establish his happiness through his own strength. Whether some higher power or other, guides our fate to the good or to the bad, this does not concern us at all. We ourselves must determine the path we have to travel. <laughs>